Our next guest first got a bike at the age of three and she's been going for gold ever since. She won a BMX world title at the age of seven, beating 1,800 other competitors. 1,800! Best out of all of those. Then, with the help of an AMP scholarship, she headed off to Rotterdam last year and took home another trophy. Of course, that's not enough for a young go-getter like Sasha Ernest, who now has her eye set on another prize, and she's here with me. Um, Sasha, good morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, you're here on your own. Dad's over in the corner of the room there filming <laughs> you on his iPhone. Um, <laughs> he didn't want to sit next to you. Was he scared of TV and radio? I don't know. <laughs> Are you the brave one in the family, though? Yes. Mm. Um, your brother is a BMXer. Yes. Did what did he say to you to get you interested? Um, well, he didn't really say anything. He just started it, and then my mum said, "Oh, do you want to start?" And I said, "I'll give it a try," and then I gave it a go. When was it obvious that you were really good at it? Uh, about starting from five. Really? Yes, so you had a couple of years mucking around and you got yeah. better and better and then all of a sudden... did you? Can you remember ever thinking, I could be the best in the world at this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are. What's cool about being the best in the world? Um... Like interviews like this, you've got to say. Meeting people like you, Mr Henry. <laughs> Do you reckon? When I was a little boy, I because I've only ever been on a BMX bi bike once, and when I got on it, I thought that all you had to do was be fast. And so I got on it and I went as fast as I could and I got, what do they call those double humps? You know, where you um, go over one and then there's another? Is that's it, a double. Oh, it was a double? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't know what anything was called. I didn't have any safety equipment except the hat. And I was going faster than everybody else. First time I'd raced and I was in front. And I got to the double hump and I realised that there must be something more to it than just speed because my bike went up the first one, straight up into the air, and I came down before the bike and I never got on a BMX bike again because you've got to be clever as well as fast, haven't you? Yes. What is the hardest thing? Um, I think... Thinking when you do it. Because sometimes you probably want to just go faster, do you? Yeah. But you know that coming up, if you go too fast, you're going to fall off. Yes. Do you worry about falling off? Only sometimes. Worst accident. What's your worst accident? Um... Have you ever broken a bone? No, never. Never? Are you like the only person in BMX that hasn't broken a bone? No, my brother hasn't. He hasn't either. He, he's not a world champion, though, is he? <laughs> he's not, a, he's not no. a world champion. All right, now, you got a scholarship last year. Did your dad organise this for you? He put you in for an AMP scholarship. I think you got $10,000. What did you do with that money? Um, after I got the scholarship, I went... We decided to go to the BMX World Championships in Rotterdam. And since we had the money, it was... Travelling. So you yeah. used it for your travelling expenses yeah. and for somewhere to stay, and you won. You beat everybody else and won. Yes. Tell me how that was when they announced you as a winner. What happened? Um, I think uh, um, it was just prize giving and then um, there were like a thousand people or something. So what was that like? Was it in a big, in a big hall or something like that? It was in a giant arena. And did you in a giant arena? Yeah. And did you have to stand up higher than the others that lost? And and did you get a medal? <laughs> um, I got a trophy. Fantastic! Is the trophy bigger than your helmet? Because that helmet's huge. Um, no, it's not. It's only that's that good. Big. Oh, it's only a weenie trophy. But my my one I got from Auckland was that big. Oh wow! What's next? What are you going to do next? Um. Go to the BMX World in Belgium, which is only five days away. Oh, wow. Are you about to get on a plane? Yes. Do you take your bike with you? Yes. <laughs> all right. Because I thought it was possible that maybe you pick up a bike when you get there. Hey, all <laughs> the very best, Sasha. You're fantastic. Thank you very much and congratulations for all the things you've won. It's brilliant. Bye-bye. Thank you.